Good morning. It's almost 8.30, January 8th, 2022 on the East Coast of the United States. This morning, I'm actually going to make a recipe. Uh, I've looked this up on the internet and found several versions. And this is sometimes called a dark and intense coffee. So, okay, I'll show you what's going to go in it. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom. I've got a teaspoon of Hershey's cocoa. If I had had dark cocoa, I would have used that. I've got an ounce of simple syrup. And ooh, over here we go. I've got three ounces of milk in my frother and the cardamom and the simple syrup and the cocoa and the milk. So we'll just let this heat up and whip up. It's gonna take about a minute and a half to do that. So we'll just let that whir around. And then the coffee that I'm going to use this morning, you could use any coffee, but I'm going to use Stormio for the Nespresso Virtuo. I've got it right here. Now, it would be really nice to brew the coffee into the milk, but for time's sake, we'll just go ahead and get this coffee going. I've got my double walled glass mug here. It is 17 ounces and my plastic spoon for stirring. Um, I decided that I should use a nice big mug just in case, because I don't want anything to overflow. Just looking over there to see. Oh, the milk's not ready yet. So in my frother, I can froth hot or cold or heat milk, or make a light froth or a dense froth, it's ready. Of course, these days I'm not quite sure what it's doing. I think that it may be, yeah, maybe on its way out, not sure, because it's not frothing every milk the way it ought to, or the way it did in the past. But while this is fixing, why don't I go ahead I'm gonna pour this in. Now, what's different about this recipe compared to what I frequently make is that, well, I've measured things, <laughs> but also I've used quite a bit more cardamom. Normally I put two or three shakes, but most of the recipes I looked at called for a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom. So that's what I've used. We'll see how that tastes. I'll go ahead and taste this chocolatey, heated up, frothy, sweet. Did I say I put simple syrup in there? Yeah. Um, so cardamom, cocoa, simple syrup, milk. Oh, cardamom, it just makes it taste like what it brings to mind is candy. Okay. We give this a nice stir. One nice thing that I like about having the milk in before the coffee brews or while it's brewing is that it tends to make a thicker sort of crema on top. <clears throat> it kind of foams up. Okay the taste test. So what's really different about this, like I said, is it's got a lot more cardamom than what I would normally put. Mm. This is very tasty. The cardamom and the cocoa together Oh, it just, 
it stays in your mouth with the coffee flavor. Oh, wow. It, you know, like it's not just drunk and done kind of thing. You drink it, mm, and it just leaves a nice sensation in your mouth, like you've been eating some kind of really good candy. Mm, so I recommend this to you. You know, sometimes you can really overdo it with, when you're using um, spices in coffee. I have done that before. So sometimes it's nice to get a good idea of about how much you want to put in. The way I figure it out is I'll research a bunch of recipes and read reviews and see what people have to say. Sometimes you just want a hint of something, like I've shared with you before. If you're using cinnamon, and Saigon cinnamon is usually a very, very tasty cinnamon, has a lovely aroma. Well, you don't need to mix that in. You just sprinkle that on the top of your coffee, and you will get the benefits of it by the aroma coming up into your nose, and that affects your taste buds too. Oh, it's just lovely, but you don't have to stir it in. With the cardamom, though, I find that when you do mix it in, it just gives it a lovely, lovely flavor. Well, I hope that you enjoy your day. This was a quick one this morning, and I have some more recipes that I'll share later. And I guess if I had, you know, one point to make about these recipes, it's that Try stuff out, you know, um, experiment and keep experimenting until you find things that you like. I mean, isn't that kind of the way it is? You know, if you go to what Starbucks or your local coffee place or even a restaurant, you know, and you try new things and some things you like, some things you don't. Well, when you're doing it at home, you can tweak it. Like with the cardamom, I found that it it does give things a sort of almost like a candy-like taste. And I don't know how to, it's not just sweet. There's a sort of a little that you get with the cardamom. And, um, you know, so I've tried different amounts. I've tried just sprinkling it on top, tried mixing it in, tried it with milk, without milk, so on and so forth. I really like this today. So this coffee was 7.77 .77 ounces. I had three ounces of almond coconut milk. I had an ounce of Jordan's zero calorie skinny simple syrup and quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom, ground cardamom, and a teaspoon of Hershey's cocoa although I think the dark cocoa would be even better. And if all you have is chocolate chips at home or a piece of chocolate, if you haven't eaten it yet, go ahead and use it in your coffee. Have a wonderful day.